Lord, have mercy. My wife and I, obviously, I'm not for me, but I see this. I'm going to go to life and I'm not Amen. Let us pray. And see how the way of the unfaithful we pray for the Lord. And that's why we're going to have that thing. For bringing that to that point. To go to the right then we we'll see you in the baptism. May the ladies, the academic visitors, who are largest to rise in your son, who is our best with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit. One man, forever, and ever. Amen. Amen. considering the ten horns it had, when suddenly another, a little horn, sprang out of their midst, and three of the previous horns were torn away to make room for it. This horn had eyes like a man, and a mouth that grow, spoke arrogantly. As I watched, the thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head was white, white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flow, flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. I watched, then, from the first of the arrogant words with the, which, which the form spoke until the beast was slain and its body thrown into the fire to be burnt up. The other beasts, which also lost their dominion, were granted a pro pro prolegation of life for a time and a season. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one, it was presented before him. He received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Lord, work, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal peace 
to praise. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You springs, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you beasts, wild and team, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and praise to him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When they are burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away but my ways will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. How are you? How are you doing? Okay. Fine. Good. Okay. I happily welcome all of us to this Eucharistic celebration and our holy hour adoration. I do my sports every day. Now, when I was younger, I observed one of the sports, one of the things, or one of the ways I love exercising my body is by climbing the staircase. I run up, I run down. When I came here, I needed to exercise my body. And then, certain times, within this time, is getting cold. So I used to climb the staircase. But formerly, when I climb the stairs, I do that up to 50 times, running up and down, running up and down. Now I tried it here. I could, but did. Only 20, I was weak. What does this imply? Telling us that everything expires. Everything 
changes. Nothing is permanent. Only change is permanent. As we age, we are aspiring. We are marching to our end time. And that is exactly what Christ is telling us today. How do you prepare? How do you get ready? How did you prepare for your own end time? Do we see the signs? Yeah, he used the parable, the victory, to tell us the signs already around the corner. Two things are certain. One, that Jesus Christ is coming again. And two, there must be judgment. How do we prepare? for the great day. In today's gospel reading, Jesus uses the parable of the fig tree to explain the point that we must be prepared for the time of trial and tribulations. Jesus coming again and the judgment is real. We must be able to read the signs of the times and stay in the kingdom of God by faithfully doing God's will every day of our lives. We need to continue serving others in humility and love and bearing witness to Jesus through the integrity and transparency of our Christian lives. We pray for the grace to prepare for our own end time, for the church. May we recognize Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, in the face of those in most need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, may he continue to accompany the flock entrusted to him with the help of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the peace in our time. May we build up Christ's kingdom by ensuring peace and justice for people in every corner of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve in the military and their families, we await their safe return. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, the suffering, and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died and all those killed this week in violent conflicts throughout our wars, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions held silent in our hearts. and for the special intention of this celebration. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, we pray that our petitions find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all of his holy church. Amen. I accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which are to your abiding, we dedicate to your name, in order that through these gifts, we may become worthy of your love. Grant us some failing obedience to your commands. We make our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heads. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly totally right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy. Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them, like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Charles, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph as past, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We are ready to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant us in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live in my peace I give you. Lord, no one says, but on the faith of your church. And gracious without our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and rest forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of Christ. Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. Body 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 of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you have given the joy of participating in the divine mysteries may never be parted from you. We make our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, for this Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. We pray for divine protection as we begin the new month, the last month of the year. We invite our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist to take control, to be in charge of whatever we are going to do within this month of December. Together we sing. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Savior, 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 
Savior, Savior, Savior, I cannot do without thee, O oh God. I cannot do without thee. I cannot do without thee. I cannot do without thee, O oh God. Do something new in our lives. Something new in our lives. Something great in our lives. Oh God, do something new in our lives. Something great in our lives. Something wonderful in our lives. Oh, oh God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle working God. Emmanuel. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's the Alpha. And Omega is a miracle working God.